Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of No End Inside, the 12th studio record by the band Propane. Today we're celebrating the 15th anniversary of the record so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, I've stumbled upon their music back in the year 2008 because of Il Nino, their drummer Dave also played in Propane and I was interested in how this band would sound like. So I listened through Propane discography and I became their fan. Also, I reviewed their first record, Foul Taste of Freedom, and their fourth one, Propane, go check those reviews out. When it comes to No End in Sight, I remember when this one was released because I've started listening to this band a few months before that. The lineup for this record features Gary on the bass and the vocals, Marshall on the guitars, it's his first record with the band, Tom on the guitars as well, he's been with the band since almost the beginning, and JC on the drums, this is his last record with the band. The production is alright, it's nothing special but it fits the music, message is diverse, the songs are mostly about society, rebellion, personal struggles, stuff like that. The structure of the tracks is basic, standard intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, sometimes it's slightly different, and the music is a mix of hardcore, groove and thrash metal. What I love about this band the most is the fact that they do not change that much, like you can put on this record or the first one and they are pretty similar when it comes to their sound. The album starts with the song Let the Blan Run Through the Streets and the first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming, it's stellar throughout the entire record, the drummer is talented, I like his groove, his style, his precision, it all works. Next is the bass, it's audible and mostly follows the guitars, but we have some moments here and there where the bass shines, it enriches the sound of the band. Then we have the guitar work and I do enjoy it, those groovy hardcore guitar riffs, some more thrashier ones here and there, it all fits the music. And finally we have the vocals by Gary, and I do like his yelling and shouting. On some of the songs here he also incorporates some clean singing, and I do enjoy some of it. And some of it is atrocious, like it's not listenable. It depends on the song. This opening track has that classic propane vibe to it. I love the groove, the chorus, it's a fun song. Not the best one here, but it's good. 7 out of 10, Halo is better. I love the vocals here, the guitar riffs, they're chunky, they're memorable. It's a great song, 8 out of 10, Hour of the Time, features Stefan Whitener of the band I don't know how to pronounce that, Boo's Uncles or whatever. And I must say that this one is pretty experimental for this band, like the previous songs had that classic propane vibe, but this one, it kinda reminds me of the soundtrack to the video game Total Overdose, it has that Mexican vibe to it in the chorus, or ska, it has that hardcore punk vibe to it, the chorus is sang and it's not that great but it's an earworm, like, it will stay in your mind, even if you don't want it there. It's a fun song, I do enjoy it, it brings more variety into the sound of the band, 7 out of 10, to never return, now this one has slight nevermore vibe when it comes to the instrumental work, the vocals in the verses are kinda weird to me, like what the hell is Gary doing, I have no idea, the chorus is fine. This is a good song, it's kinda weird for this band, go check it out. 7 out of 10, where we stand, now for some reason there are two versions of this song on the record, the original one, which is here, and at the end of the record, the only difference are the screams in the chorus in the background in the second version, it doesn't change that much, I don't know why there are two versions, this is the worst song on the record by far, the verses are weird vocally, and the chorus is awful, like it's not fun to listen to at all, I hate it. The instrumental work, well it's fine, it's a standard propane song, but the vocals ruin it, I don't like listening to this one. 5 out of 10, Phoenix Rising features rap of Cannibal Corpse, and this song has more darker and sinister vibe compared to the rest of the record, I do love the guitar riffs here, the groove, the drumming, the bass, even the vocals are perfect, this is a great track, 8 out of 10, Go It Alone is even better, it's a song about the good old times, like they are thanking their fans for their support over the years, this one has more playful vibe to it, I love the chorus, the guitars, the drums, this is the highlight of this record, 9 out of 10, All Rise, 
Now this one is very similar to the previous song, I love the verses, the instrumental work, the chorus is my favorite part, a classic propane song, 9 out of 10, God's Will, now this is my favorite song from this record, I love its more melodic and sinister atmosphere, the guitar riffs are the best part here, the drumming and the bass work is also fantastic, the vocals slap, the chorus is interesting, it has that magical vibe to it, you know, 10 out of 10. And the final song, The Fight Goes On, now this one is kinda similar to All Rise and Go It Alone, it's melodic, it's straight to the point, it has that hardcore spirit in it, the vocals slap, the chorus is great, I love this song, 9 out of 10. To sum it up, the consistency is various and the flow is disrupted, replayability, yeah, it's a good release, I enjoy most of the songs here, I don't know why Where We Stand exists, especially in two versions, please remove it from the record. Everything else is fun to listen to, the highlights here are God's Will, All Rise, Go It Alone, The Fight Goes On, Phoenix Rising, Halo, check those songs out, they are truly fun to listen to, I highly recommend listening to this record, it's not the best one in the propane discography, but it's not the worst as well, it's like in the middle of their catalogue. Celebrate number three by spinning this record today, it truly deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram in the description, I will see you in my other videos. Bye!